ladies and gentlemen, here we have it. The end of the year list, starting with songs of the year. I think we can all agree, regardless of the way this list goes down, regardless of how you appreciated, you know, the reactions or reviews or didn't appreciate or was I was being a hater or I wasn't. We can all agree there hasn't been a music year like this one since 2016. The only artist that didn't drop was Frank Ocean. And the other only artist that didn't drop was Rihanna, but she got a whole thing going on. Solid year for music, regardless. Right here, we're going to start. We're going to go 40 through number 11. I try to order these as much as possible with everybody on stream. Everybody on stream saw this list already and they helped me curate it. So if y'all guys want to be part of that type of content, we're going to be doing a lot of other things on stream starting 2023. So I hope to see y'all guys there. If y'all guys want to support the channel and support me as a creator and a community, consider joining Patreon. That is where we do everything. Uh, we got a lot. We got a stupid amount of content on Patreon, to be honest, way more than we'll ever be on YouTube is on Patreon. But we got 40 tracks. Number 40, I'm an EDM head. The motto for Tiesto was just as big as let's get down, let's get down to business. Like it was just that same level of song in 2022. It's a good bop. There's not too much thought that goes into it. It's perfect if you're at a festival. It's perfect if you're at the gym, you're just vibing in the car. It's just a good song. Next up, we have I Like You featuring Doja Cat, Post Malone. The motto in this track, they're just fun tracks. They're not gonna be the most crazy, like, damn, that was mad emotional, but I'm gonna be listening in rotation, both of these. At number 38, we got Don Tolliver with Do It Right. This is one of my favorite interpolations of the year. Again, another track that's very club friendly. It's very like just lighthearted. Got a nice little vibe. Don Tolliver don't really miss. And interpolating this original song into this track and doing it as well as he did deserves to be on the list. It came out mad later in the year, but solid Bob regardless. Next up, highs and lows, Chance and Joey Badass. Chance really needed to make, he needed to do something just to get the, just to get the heat off of his last album. And I think Chance as dropping singles this year did a solid job. It's a good rap track, but there were much better or much more replayable or much more standout rap tracks in this one. So that's why it's as low as it is. Next up, Neck and Wrist Don't Lie, Pusha T, another album that is also in my album of the year list. Pusha always brings it. At the 35 spot, we have Nonchalant. This is not the last time that Westside Boogie is on this list. As y'all know, I'm big Boogie fan. Next up, number 34. This one right here is going to be a track that a lot of people are unfamiliar with. This is a bop. Um, regardless, this is by Ali. I don't know how to say his last name. I think it's Gati or Gati. Either way, um, this is Honest by him. The melody of the song is just, it just hit me the very first time I've heard it. This is one of my most replayed songs of 2022. If y'all guys are unaware of it, check it out. It's a sleeper. I promise you, most of y'all will enjoy it. We don't see the same side of things no more. Even when we did, I was still unsure. After everything, I would still be. After everything, I would still be honest. Hard track. Next up on the 33 spot, a Dreamville collaboration, Stick. Bro, the energy in this track is the opening track to the D-Day mix. Stick! 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 At the number 32 spot, this is going to be low for a lot of people, but I just didn't really vibe with it as much as other people did. It was an amazing show ender at the weekend's tour. Less than zero. I like it, but I like so many more tracks on the album than this one, but... This one deserves recognition because it sounds it sounds way different than the rest of the album and the lyrics still hit and it feels just, it's a perfect closing moment not only for the album but for the tour where we got two albums worth of music super hard at the 31 spot another one that's gonna be a little low but this is this one is really only gonna be low because people like j cole's verse and that is london be a uh, featuring j cole again better rap songs this year but not to discredit J. Cole, not to discredit Bia. This is an honorable mention list. You could put these in any order, really, and, and it's all going to make sense. Shit banged. Next up. Also, even for myself, I find myself debating on... Come on, dog. We have Precious Things by Lupe Fiasco coming in at number 30, and this is also an album of the year contender that this song came off of. The concept for this song, the visuals for this song, just the hands turning on you, your own hands, like you are your own downfall type shit. It's an amazing concept. Really only Lupe could pull this kind of concept off and make it sound as good as it does, but there are better Lupe songs on this album. 
but it was one of my favorite and one of the most listened to. Next up, number 29 on the list. This is going to be Vince Staples with Magic off of Ramona Park. This song is, is undeniable, Bob. Acura used it on their commercial, bro. At number 28, we got Spread the Ops. This track was crazy, bro. Breaking all kinds of CHH boundaries. Lecrae is kind of controversial in the Christian hip-hop scene. This song is a classic trap track. This breaks the mold for what a lot of people probably think CHH sounds like. This whole album, see Church Close 4? Listen to it if you haven't. At the number 27 spot, basically 27 through like 22, all of these are interchangeable and I still... As I'm reading the list that I have right here to this right now, I'm still debating the order, but this is a force of a song this year. This is Jake with Golden Hour. Everybody heard this song. The swell into the hook, into the bridge, into the into the chorus is insane. This your golden eye. Like that shit is just that's one of the best rises into a hook all year. If we're talking about moments, moments on songs, that's probably top 10. Next up, after Golden Hour at the 26th spot, we have Vegas by Doja Cat. Vegas by Doja Cat might be one of the most incredible beats and songs this year, especially including the fact that it remained on theme for the soundtrack that was on, which was the Elvis Presley movie. That the use of jailhouse rock into a hip hop track, into a female driven rap track, it's, it's incredible, bro. That, I was so pissed that it's not getting the nod for original composition or original song. Originality in rap is different than what the rest of the world calls originality. We know that sampling is a huge part of the culture. It's how the, it's how the shit started. And there is probably no better use of a sample this year outside of a couple other ones which might be on this list that do it better or more creatively than Vegas. Next up at the 25 spot, we got Taylor Swift, baby, with Lavender Haze. There were a couple of songs I could have put on this list from Taylor Swift's album. Bejeweled, just kidding. Maroon, uh, Midnight Rain, Labyrinth. There's a decent amount of tracks that were from on this album, but it's just a solid opening track, bro. It sets the tone, it sets the soundscape, it sets, it sets what is to come on that album. Next up, at the 24th spot, we got Beyonce, Break My Soul. A lot of people are going to put other songs on this album higher than Break My Soul, but Break My Soul made the list for me because of the fact that it used that original, that original house song in the same exact way, and at least in my opinion, when it comes to the sampling of the song, it used it just as tastefully and creatively as Vegas did by Doja Cat. And that's mainly the reason why it's on the list. On top of that, just bops at the club, bro. It's a good ass track. At the 23 spot, we got The Weeknd, ladies and gentlemen, once again. And this one is also going to be a little bit of a polarizing pick for it being this low. We have Out of Time. Out of Time is a juggernaut of a track, but I think that the music video helped it a lot. Shit is mad smooth, but I do have a better track in my mind than this one on the album. Next up at the 22 spot, this one going to have some people heated because this was arguably one of the best rap songs this year when it dropped and we have Denzel Curry walking. Walking is an unbelievable track. The beat switch up between the two, but I don't like it as much as I like other songs on this on this album and this is not the last time we will be seeing Denzel Curry. At the 21 spot rounding out the first 20 of our honorable mentions, we have Swedish House Mafia with Calling On. Swedish House Mafia's album is going to be in the album of the year video. Don't know where yet, but it's going to be there. And there were bangers on this track, bro. There was almost no misses, if I if I remember correctly. But the vibe, the energy of this, the calling on, like the repeating elements, progressive house. No one does it better than Swedish House Mafia. Next up at the number 20 spot, ladies and gentlemen, there are actually a lot of tracks from this album because of its length and because of its power in the world that could have been on this list. But this song right here by Bad Bunny, Titi Mi Pregunto, is my favorite on the album. It has the most energy. There are amazing tracks on the album. Most people that don't speak Spanish or come from Spanish-speaking countries or don't want to look up the lyrics, most people are going to say that most reggaeton sounds the same. I don't think that's the case in terms of Bad Bunny. He is very much like Drake. He's a very fluid artist. But this one is the one that had me the most. It had a chokehold on my summer, bro. And it just, I was jamming this. Literally every club I went to, this this was played at least once. Solid bop, solid album. I normally don't like long albums, but Time Magazine had this song as number one in the world. 
for the year at the number 19 spot we got creeping metro booming featuring the weekend and 21 savage obviously people are going to say that this is rated a little low especially the exo fam i can see your point there but this is not even in that much of an interpolation this is a direct remake of this song um but i do think that they did a lot of justice to the song especially in the second half where the original beat comes in for 21 to rap on top of solid track at the number 18 spot bro we got drake hours in silence off of her loss this is not the last time you will be seeing drake on this list like i said he's like bad bunny he can basically mold and fit into whatever he needs to be and this is one of my favorite drakes whenever we're in this bag right here especially when he goes into the it's my fault for once i'll take accountability that forward bro it's my fault you got superpowers on your knees i was planning our highs while you were planning our goodbyes trying to turn you up bro that shit is dummy hard at the number 17 spot this one also might be a little low depending on what you are rating and what you're critiquing your songs on on your own list but at 17 we have the heart part five by kendrick lamar the heart series is always incredible this very very jazzy percussion and then the i know i like that the culture the music video with the shape-shifting deep fakes all of it super fire it's an amazing track but this is also not the last time you will be seeing kendrick lamar on this list and i just prefer i just prefer the other songs that have potentially the same amount of power but more more replay value the heart is like going to the moma i'm not going to look at the jackson pollock all the time but when i do look at it every once in a while that shit hits at number 16 on the list like i said not the last time you would see him we got middle of the ocean drake off of her loss this motherfucker just went in for six and a half minutes. I don't know what to tell you. Next up at the 15th spot, again, I told you another artist that I said you wouldn't see the last of, Mother I Sober. Bro, this song is not one that you can listen to all the time, but this song is extremely emotional. It's heart-wrenching in the fact that we are realizing, it's Kendrick realizing things about himself, and he's expressing that to us. These are things that only a therapist in your family should know, but he's putting it out there in order to break the stigma of having to be tough in the hood. It's one of the best songs on his on his album. Again, replay value, not necessarily there as much, which is why it's where it's at, but solid track regardless. At number 14, once again, we have The Weeknd with Is There Someone Else? It's just something different about it. Out of Time is solid. Out of Time is melancholic. One of my favorite lines from The Weeknd ever comes from Out of Time. You begged me with your drowning eyes to stay. But the realization that he is paying for his actions in terms of karma um, with this girl potentially cheating on him. It's a crazy track, yo. The Weeknd did his thing this year, and I feel like Don FM is, is going to be underappreciated in The Weeknd's catalog. Next up after that, we got the 13 spot, and this one is going to rub a little bit of people against the grain because this pick is against the grain with how low it is. And at 13, we have Benny the Butcher and J. Cole, Johnny P's caddy. Y'all don't realize like what is above it i think because everybody for the most part is going to say johnny p's caddy is one of the best rap songs of the year and it is clearly it's high on this list but there are songs that came out later in the year after it that are just incredible tracks it's one of j cole's best features but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's the best song of the year or are in the top 10 for me based off of everything that came out this year but regardless it's a bop bro <laughs> It's one of J. Cole's best feature verses. He really don't miss as a feature. At the number 12 spot, once again, we have Denzel Curry and we have Denzel Curry X-Wing, bro. While walking is probably the more traditional, this is a good boom bap hip hop track, X-Wing just has so much more replay value to me. And bro, just the infectious nature of the melody of the hook. I don't want to call on an X-Wing and I'm on to the next thing. Growing up, I didn't have the best things. Now my diamonds on my neck gleam. That shit goes crazy, dog. I don't care what you say. And finally, at the number 11 spot, ladies and gentlemen, probably coming out of left, right field, center field, not even in the ballpark. It's across the street, still looking for parking. And that's FKA Twigs with light beamers, bro. This is one of the most gorgeous songs that I've ever heard from Twigs. And it's one of the best songs of the year, in my opinion. The the sentiment, all the indigo and light beamers, like everybody that has a sad aura about them, this song is for you. I know you feel like nobody's on your side, but this is for the light beamers, bro. Her voice is fucking flawless. Her voice is flawless. Listen to this shit right here. This is for the hard dreams. Listen to that vibrato. All the indigo and light beams. 
Ain't no way you're... That's at number 11. That song almost made the top 10 if the top 10 wasn't star-studded, wasn't so emotional, wasn't so, holy shit, this is a moment in music. If the top 10 wasn't that, this would be in the top 10. But that wraps it up for our honorable mentions, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate you watching this. Stay tuned to the next video for my top 10 tracks of the year and the communities for the most part. I appreciate y'all guys watching. Consider liking, leaving a comment, and subscribing to the channel. Y'all want to see other non-music reactions, second channel. And once again, consider joining Patreon and consider joining Twitch, where we do all of these things live. But other than that, catch y'all guys on the top 10.